10 Truths Must You Find During the Day, Otherwise You Will Seek Truth During the Night, And Your Soul Will Stay Hungry. 10 Times Must You Laugh During the Day, And Be Cheerful, Otherwise Your Stomach, The Father of Affliction and Gloom, Will Disturb You in the Night. We are unknown to ourselves, we men of knowledge and with good reason. We have never sought ourselves how could it happen that we should ever find ourselves? What really arouses indignation against suffering is not suffering as such but the senselessness of suffering. Thus spoke the devil to me, once on a time, even God has his hell, it is his love for man. And lately did I hear him say these words, God is dead, of his pity for man has God died. All history is the experimental refutation of the theory of the so-called moral order of things. A soul that knows it is loved but does not itself love betrays its sediment, what is at bottom comes up. He who does not find greatness in God finds it nowhere. He must either deny it or create it. We have to be careful that in throwing out the devil, we don't throw out the best part of ourselves. Was that life? I want to say to death. Well then. Once more. I have grown weary of the poets, the old and the new, they all seem to me superficial and shallow seas. Truly, their spirit itself is the peacock of peacocks and a sea of vanity. The minds of others I know well, but who I am I cannot tell. This, is now my way, where is yours? Thus I answer those who asked me the way. For the way, does not exist. As soon as you feel yourself against me you have ceased to understand my position and consequently my arguments. You have to be the victim of the same passion. Spirit is life which itself cutteth into life, by its own torture doth it increase its own knowledge, did you know that before? Similes, are all names of good and evil. They do not speak out, the only hint. A fool who seeketh knowledge from them. And when a person goeth through fire for his teaching, what doth that prove? It is more, verily, when out of one's own burning cometh one's own teaching. Ah, I cast indeed my nut into their sea, and meant to catch good fish, but always did I draw up the head of some ancient god. We know that the destruction of an ideal does not necessarily produce a truth, but only one more piece of ignorance, it is the extension of our empty space, an increase in our waste. In good company one must never want to be entirely and solely right, which is what all pure logic wants. When we are awake we do the same thing as when we are dreaming, we first invent and create the people we are dealing with, and then forget it immediately. A people is nature's roundabout way of getting six or seven great men. Yes, and then of getting around them. This cup wants to become empty again, and Zarathustra wants to become human again. Zarathustra left his home in the lake of his home and went into the mountains. Here he enjoyed his spirit and his solitude and for ten years he did not tire of it. It is not for nothing that one has been a philologist. Perhaps one is a philologist still, that is to say, a teacher of slow reading. For the Creator to be himself the child that is newly born, he must also want to be the birth giver and the pain of the birth giver. I want to teach them what is understood by so few today, least of all by those preachers of pity, to share not suffering but joy. Back then you carried your ashes to the mountain. Would you now carry your fire into the alley? And only when you have all denied me will I return to you. Verily, with die errant eyes, my brothers, shall I then seek my lost ones, with a die errant love shall I then love you. Your educators can only be your liberators. The familiarity of superiors embitters one, because it may not be returned. And life confided the secret to me, behold, it said, I am that which must always overcome itself. A man who wills commands something within himself that renders obedience, or that he believes renders obedience. 
It may be that until now there has been no more potent means for beautifying man himself than piety, it can turn man into so much art, surface, play of colors, graciousness that his sight no longer makes one suffer. Every kind of contempt for sex, every impurification of it by means of the concept impure, is the crime par excellence against life is the real sin against the Holy Spirit of life. Generally speaking, punishment makes men hard and cold, it concentrates, it sharpens the feeling of alienation, it strengthens the power of resistance. Those who hear not the music think the dancers mad. To recognize on truth as a condition of life that certainly means resisting accustomed value of feelings in a dangerous way, and a philosophy that risks this would by the token alone place itself beyond good and evil. Digressions, objections, delight and mockery, carefree mistrust are signs of health, everything unconditional belongs in pathology. A nation is a detour of nature to arrive at five or six great men yes, and then to get around them. What is good? All that heightens the feeling of power, the will to power, power itself. What is bad? All that is born of weakness. What is happiness? The feeling that power is growing, that resistance is overcome. But I need solitude which is to say, recovery, return to myself, the breath of a free, light, playful air. The mother of excess is not joy but joylessness. One has to take a somewhat bold and dangerous line with this existence, especially as, whatever happens, we are bound to lose it. The real world is much smaller than the imaginary. It is nobler to declare oneself wrong than to insist on being right especially when one is right. Everyone who has ever built anywhere a new heaven first found the power there too in his own hell. If a man has character, he is also his typical experience, which always recurs. I obviously do everything to be hard to understand myself. When you stare into the abyss the abyss stares back at you. The worst readers are those who behave like plundering troops, they take away a few things they can use, dirty and confound the remainder, and revile the whole. One must be a sea to receive the polluted stream without becoming impure. Blessed are the forgetful, for they get the better even of their blunders. The snake which cannot cast its skin has to die. As well the minds which are prevented from changing their opinions, they cease to be mind. 